Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video will be about aliphatic amino acids. Group number one, nonpolar aliphatic amino acids. Seven of the 20 amino acids fall under this category. They include the following, glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, methionine, and proline. As I mentioned before, you really need to know the one letter and the three letter abbreviations. An easy way to remember this group is by memorizing the acronym GADLY MP. This is what helped me to memorize these for my exam. However, if you want to make your own acronym, I encourage that fully. At the end of this video, I have highlighted some helpful tips that may be useful when you're generating these acronyms, or it could even be a phrase. Let's look at the structure for these seven amino acids. First, we have glycine. This is the simplest amino acid that there is. The R group is a simple hydrogen atom. Because of this, glycine is the only amino acid that does not have a chiral center. This would be important for any type of biochem exam that you would have. Watch my video on chirality to learn more about chiral molecules. Then we have alanine. In alanine, the R group is a simple methyl group. This makes it easy to remember this. And as you will see, most of these amino acids kind of build up on each other. It's adding a group or changing the position of an atom. So it's kind of easy to remember these structures. Thirdly, we have valine. From valine onwards, the R groups start to become a little more complex. However, the way I remember valine is by seeing that the R group of valine looks like a V. Two additional carbon atoms have been added to the R group of alanine to create valine by creating the shape of a V, and therefore that is valine. Then we have leucine. This is the L of Gabli MP. The main reason why I like this acronym is because it helps me to remember the structure of the molecules it refers to. Like I mentioned before, each amino acid, as laid out in this acronym, builds on each other, and there's a minute change in each that creates the new amino acid. So, for example, in leucine, its R group is the same R group as valine, but extended by one carbon atom added near the alpha carbon atom. After leucine, we have isoleucine. The structure of this is easier to remember as well. For instance, consider redrawing the structure of leucine this way. If you do this, you can easily see that the main carbon chain of the R group has three carbon atoms, and then there's a methyl group. A methyl group is a CH3 group. This methyl group is attached to the metal carbon of the R group. If you remember this, then the structure of isoleucine is the exact same thing, but with the methyl group just moved up one carbon to the carbon that is closest to the alpha carbon. Then we have methionine. This is a little different from the previous molecules and is one of the two amino acids that has a sulfur atom in the R group. I don't necessarily have an easy way to remember it, but it's quite easy to memorize. And lastly, in this category, we have proline. How I remember this molecule is by noting that this is the only molecule where the last carbon atom of the R group interacts with the amino group of the amino acid, making it cyclic. The great thing about the NCAT is that it is a multiple choice exam, so you don't necessarily need to be able to recreate amino acids exactly as is. You just need to be able to identify the structure. Since this is the only amino acid that has an R group connected to the main amino group, it's quite easy to identify it. The same applies to methionine as well. Since it's the only amino acid that has a sulfur atom in the middle of the R group chain, if that makes sense. You might understand what I'm saying when we talk about cysteine, which is the other amino acid that has a sulfur group. 
So this covers all the non-polar aliphatic amino acids. That's it for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe as that helps the channel out a lot. Click the video on the left hand side to learn about the next class of amino acids. If you want to learn about all the 20 amino acids at the same time, please click the video on the right. See you next time. Bye.